Good morning! How are you feeling this Monday morning? I hope you are in tip-top condition, feeling good, ready to start the day. I've got a pretty intense circuit for you this morning. If you are doing this live, then uh, welcome to you. If you're doing this later, just make sure you've got some water on hand. You don't need too much equipment. A couple of light to medium weight dumbbells, whatever you'd usually use at home. And on the way, I will give you some improvisations as well that you can use or modifications if you're doing this body weight only. Um, always, as always, don't attempt this workout if you're feeling unwell or if you have any injuries at all because I'm not there to appraise you so I can't help you out. Um, I'll give us a heads up as we go along through each exercise so you know what's coming up. Um, otherwise we're going to do a bit of a warm up and a cool down. There are eight exercises in total and we will do them in rotation. Okay, fantastic. We're going to start with a bit of a warm up first of all this morning. Don't forget to have your water on hand. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna admit now that my five-year-old woke me up at three o'clock this morning and I am not feeling in tip-top condition, so I'm hoping this is gonna snap me out of it, make me feel good, because literally I just wanna get back in bed right now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Right, we're gonna start with a jog on the spot. Let's get ourselves nice and warm. Should really make him do it. Let's get those endorphins going, let's get feeling good, shall we? Start to kick those heels back. Okay, we're gonna go into an air squat in three, two, one. Here we go. Keep that chest up. Core tight. It's gonna be a full body circuit, so we will warm up every part of our body if we can. Drive those heels through the floor. Couple more. And we're gonna go into a shoulder tap. So that's the plank position with a tap on each side. Are we ready? Here we go. Core tight. Tap. Tap. Squeeze. Keep it going, you're looking really good. And walk ourselves back up in a moment. Back to that jog. Three, two, one. Walk yourself back up. Here we go. Back into that jog. So just whilst we're doing this, I'm going to tell you what we've got to look forward to. We're going to do some reverse lunges. We're going to do some sabers or single arm bent over rows, some stiff leg deadlifts, some thrusters, single leg glute bridges, and got some nice core exercises towards the end as well. Okay, I'm going to go into a windmill reach. Are we ready? Over we go. Keep those legs nice and stiff. Remember, this is just your warm up. Okay, 
And then we're gonna go to a knee to elbow raise in three, two, one, here we go. Squeeze. Good. Bring that knee up to the elbow, not the other way around. Okay, last one we're gonna do, slow squat. Take yourself down really slowly. Pop those elbows on the inside of your knees and just gently push out. Gonna open up those hip flexors because we're gonna start with a reverse lunge and we are gonna get to some serious squats with those thrusters. Raise yourself up, shake it up. Are we ready to go? Grab some water, you should feel nice and warm. Okay, I'm gonna start the clock. We're gonna start with a reverse lunge. It's gonna give us a 10 second countdown. I'm gonna grab a plate for this. But you can use whatever you've got. Use a, a dumbbell, I'm gonna thrust it up. Here we go. Over I go, like that. And I'm gonna alternate my legs. Okay, here we go. One. Squeeze that core tight. Working hard. Feel those quads working. Don't worry about whether your knee comes over your toe when you lunge. Don't worry about the depth that you're getting, it will come. Okay, round one down. If you don't have a plate, just hold the edge of a dumbbell if you've got one, or you could use a bag of sugar, a couple of water bottles. It's quite a good way of adding an extra dimension to it, this. A bit different from the ones we've done previously, where we've done a pulse. Are we ready? Let's go. This is round two. We're going to do this exercise three times. this next one just because we're going to go into an upper body exercise wow it's amazing what difference a good night's sleep makes to you i haven't had one by the way okay are we ready two one here we go one two three four five Looking good, keep it going. Thank you to Ben Sound for providing the royalty free soundtrack, otherwise Instagram have a tendency to switch me off if I play commercial music. Get a bit bored of these tracks though, if anybody knows of any good ones that I can play, I like a bit of hip hop. One, and I'm rest, okay. Good. Right, the next one's fairly dynamic. So I've gone from her legs, and we're gonna to move to an arm. So it's gonna be a saber or a single arm bent over a row. If you've got a bench, great. If you haven't, you just do it with a split stance, and you're gonna row back just like that, okay? One. Core tight, here we go. One. Squeeze. Minimal rest on this circuit. Quite good to do this with a kettlebell if you've got one. Okay, I'm gonna swap sides. Okay, 
keep that elbow tucked in. Squeeze back, keep the shoulder blades together. Two, one. Probably guesstimated a little bit short on that side there, but because we've got three rounds, I wanna make sure that we work both arms, okay? So as I say, I've said this before, you get one of those large plastic milk bottles, fill it with play sand, you don't have a weight. It's not a bad alternative. Are we ready? Here we go. Squeeze. One leg out to the side. Here we go. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Good work, guys. Keep working. Next one's a toughie. Don't peek too soon. Swap sides. I'm going to keep working here just to make sure I get my eight in. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. And that's eight. Okay. Cool. Right. So, okay, that's round six. Round three. This next exercise you don't need to wait for. We are gonna do a walk out with a press up. Are we ready? Here we go. All the way out, press up, walk back. Press up from your knees if you can't do it as a full press up. Keep that core tight. Good. Smashed it. Okay, so this is your full body. Got two more rounds of this one, and then we're gonna move on to some stiff leg deadlifts. But we're going to keep the weight light and we're going to focus on our technique. Let's grab some water. So it's probably the most, this and the thrusters, the most dynamic. Good morning. Okay, here we go. Press up, walk back, stand up. this one yeah hi there if you're just joining us are we ready three two one let's go walk out press up back up keep it dynamic guys how many can you get in Three, two, 
Mashed it. Well done. Okay, so you do need two weights for the next one. Keep them fairly light, we'll focus on technique. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple of dumbbells and find the other one. Here we go. So for this one, remember, keep them really close. Slight flexion at the knee. And we're gonna push those hips all the way back as far as you can go. Feel that stretch down your hamstrings and your calves, then up. I'll be ready. Keep them close, all the way back with those hips, and up. Think hips first. Let's get that hinge right. Push back. Oh, we go. And up. Push out. Create that tabletop. Only go over as far as is comfortable. Don't cross it. Two, one. Smash it. So, just a couple of pointers here. Hips first. It's not a squat. We're not sitting into it. We're hinging at the hip. You got. You can have a slight flexion at your knee, but we're doing a stiff leg deadlift, not an ordinary conventional deadlift. Okay. So hips all the way back. Here we go. Keep those dumbbells close. Hips back. Here we go. Feel those hammies and those calves. I'm just gonna move so you can see my hamstrings work. It's just so, so effective. All the way over, that's it. And back up, good. It's good to do this with a barbell because you can keep it so close to your legs. These spin lock dumbbells are quite awkward because they're, they've obviously got these little sticks poking out to put all of my different weights on, but it does make it quite hard with a stiff leg. You've just got to get them as close as you possibly can. Okay, how we're ready. Last round of these, and then we're gonna move on to a tricep extension. Here we go. All the way back. Feel that stretch. Over we go, and up, core tight. I wouldn't normally have my feet quite this wide, but like I say, just because of the, the dumbbells, it does make it slightly awkward. One. Let's make this your last one. And up. Fantastic job. Okay, you only need one weight for the next exercise, and that is a tricep extension. So for this one, I'm going to have a diamond grip like that on the top of the, the dumbbell, okay? I'm going to have it over. I'm going to have a split stance. I'm going to take it over. All the way up. Feel those triceps working. Squeeze that core tight. Over we go. You don't have any weight. You can always do some dips. Get your triceps going. That it's challenging enough with the weights that you have you can also do this as a just hold it as a normal dumbbell you can do it as a one arm tricep extension to make it that little bit harder these are probably a little bit heavy for me to do that but i'm going to stick with the uh, split stance one and the diamond grip here we go here we go you're doing really well guys we're already on round 14 can you believe it Last one. Let's 
Smashed it. Woo! Ow. Okay. How are we doing? One more round of these. What's our next exercise? Oh, we're moving on to thrusters. So that's our full body one. So you're going to need both weights for that. Okay, short rest. Here we go. Are we ready? I didn't get many of these workouts last week onto, onto YouTube. Um, I meant to. Um, it's just so, so busy. But they're all available to watch again on Instagram at least. So I know it's not quite the same. You can't get it on a big screen. Almost there. You know, triceps. Um, I've always found dips really, really hard. Quite often, use a band to do them when, which doesn't really make much sense given that I can get a full wide grip pull up um, for a good few reps. So I probably need to work on that. That exercise is not a bad one to do, or you can do it over a bench. Okay, thrusters, I'm talking. Let's go. Down we go. Push up, nice and dynamic. Keep that head and chest up. Explosive on the way up. What a great way to start the week, guys. Well done. Super, super proud of you. Three, two, one. Okay. And we're resting. Another one, we're gonna keep them really dynamic, keep them moving. Okay. Three, two, Are we ready? Here we go. Squeeze that core tight. Down we come. Push up. Woo! to gloats. We're going to do some single leg glute bridges. Oh, I did a long run yesterday. First time in a few weeks. Had a sore foot. And boy, can I feel it on my knees this morning. Wow. You should really stick to the weights, kids. Running's bad for you. Okay, here we go. I'm only joking. after this walkouts with the press ups right single leg glute bridges not going to need a weight what we are going to need we can do it off the floor but I'm going to do it off the bench Three, two, one. get myself in this position have one leg out chin tucked in all the way up with that leg and back down keep it all the way out give myself a bit more room I 
said it before on my technique workshop last week with this one. If you're not feeling it in your glutes and you feel it in your hammies, that's fine if you want to work your hammies. But if you want it to be a successful glute exercise, you need to make sure that your feet are in the right position. Sometimes it's just a simple thing, moving that heel in towards the bottom. Here we go. Squeeze, good. Swap legs. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Good. It's not pretty, but keep your chin tucked in. I'm gonna get one more in, just to even things up. Fantastic, okay, last round. Wow, round 20. Only one more exercise to go. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, I'm gonna do three different exercises on that last circuit, okay? Are we ready? Here we go. Core tight. All the way up. Squeeze that pelvis. Feel those glutes working. Swap sides. Let's get an even number. Okay, just to finish the legs off completely, I'm gonna start with a little bit of stamina. I'm gonna go for a wall set, okay? Then we're gonna do a decline crunch, then we're gonna do an X plank. Slide things up this morning. Here we go. Get yourself on a wall, nice and low. Well, I've made it hard for myself by having one on a mat and one not, but you get the idea. Chest up. Quite dynamic that for a Monday morning, wasn't it? I don't know what I was thinking. How are your legs doing? Jelly yet? It's good having this one as the last one because you've already pre fatigued those muscles. Test your stamina. Two, one. Okay. 20 seconds, we're gonna go for a decline crunch. I'm gonna pop my legs on the wall and I'm gonna bring my knees into my chest like a mountain climber. Okay, she says. Here we go. I'm wearing my indoor trainers, guys, it's okay. Okay, so you're going to get yourself to a high plank position. You're going to reach back, alternative hands, alternative feet. Okay, so high plank, reach back, squeeze that core nice and tight. Are we ready? Not going to rest today. Come on. Squeeze. This is your last exercise. Let's make it a good one. Two, one. Wow. 
Well done. 24 rounds, what a way to start the day. Oh, can you feel that core? <laughs> okay, we better have a good stretch off because you've worked really, really hard this morning. Thank you so much to those of you who joined me. It's always a pleasure. Okay, we're going to start with a quad stretch. And I know that quite often I'll come up on one knee and I'll bring it in, but I really think deepen that stretch if you can. I quite like to do it against a wall with one knee up and then lean all the way back. You just get a much deeper stretch down the front of that quad. But for now, I'm just gonna do a lying quad stretch. Bring a heel in towards that bottom, just hold it there. Really squeeze. I should say, because I've just noticed a few people on this particular live, that this workout is not postnatal suitable, guys. If you want one, let me know. Far too dynamic, especially if you've just had a C-section or if you've got any level of muscle separa separation at all. Please, 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 don't be doing anything like this. Gotta focus on getting that core connection, that mind-muscle connection to begin with. Build it up slowly, give yourself a break, okay? Right, take one leg out to the side. Feel it on the inner part of your thigh, walk yourself over. There seems to be quite a worrying trend at the moment, as the way I see it, is to encourage people who've just given birth to start attempting a couch to 5K. I do not agree. I'm afraid that you have got relaxing in your body for six months post childbirth. That means your joints are floppy, okay? So running is not a good idea. Not unless you are a seasoned runner and you ran all the way through your pregnancy. Okay, all the way over, I'll get off my soapbox. Okay, really, really good stretch for those quads. Pigeon stretch, take one leg underneath you, lean all the way over. Feel that stretch in your hip flexor. It's one of my favorite stretches, this. I've always, always had tight hips. Okay, let's swap sides. If you've got a bit longer, guys, to spend on this stretch, please do. Um, Breathing should be back to normal now. Feeling a bit sweaty, but I'm feeling good. Okay, just walk yourself up your mat. Okay, we're gonna stretch off those triceps next palm on the top of your back. Just gently push down on your elbow. Swap sides. Stick your arms all the way behind you. Draw those shoulder blades all the way back. Stretch out. Okay, last one. We're just going to take one arm across. Just hold it there. And on the other side. Fantastic job. Good work. You've worked so, so hard this morning. Thank you very much. I am going to do a live sculpt and tone class, which is not, not like this one in the sense that you don't have like 20 seconds of rest. It just literally work all the way through 35 minutes. There'll be a warm up and a cool down. And this week, I'm just going to set you some challenges. So tomorrow I've got upper body one. Thursday, it's a lower body and then a full body fitness challenge on Friday. So look forward to that. Thank you so much for joining me. Keep well hydrated, lots of water. Um, keep yourself moving as active as possible. Get those steps in. I know it's really hard at the moment. Lots of people stuck in the house, but that's what we need to do to keep ourselves feeling good. Okay, lots of love. Thank you very much for joining me.